Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna do a full walkthrough on how to set up and use the Unusual Whale Super Flow. You can have up to five separate saved dashboards, and what I'm gonna do in this video is build out first a market tied dashboard, and then a couple of flow feed dashboards. Now to start us off here, right out of the gate, to add a new window to your dashboard, all you have to do is click Add New Window at the top here. Then you'll have to select what kind of window you wanna add. For example, I'll go ahead and add spy stock chart here. And since it's the only window, it will take up the whole page, but all you have to do is keep adding windows. Now in the Superflow, you can add anything from the stock chart to an options flow feed. You can even add dark flow, hot chains. It's really versatile. What we're gonna start off with right out of the gate here is we're gonna add the market tide. Now I like to watch both the all options premiums tied as well as the out of the money only. So I'm actually going to add both here. Now I've got both the market tied all, which includes all strikes at the money, in the money, and out of the money, as well as the market tied out of the money only, which tracks only out of the money options contracts. Now let's say you wanna also have an ETF in here. Let's say you wanna track SPY. So I'll go over here and I'll add a net flow component to my windows. Let's name this one SPY. Boom, now we have SPY the S&P 500 ETF and its options premiums right here in the top right hand side. We can also switch this between the holdings within SPY or we can keep it to SPY's options premiums itself. You can rearrange these windows however you'd like. If it's a bit of a mess, you got too many windows, you don't know exactly how you want it to look, you can click auto arrange and it'll move stuff around for you or you can simply click and drag your windows to organize them however you see fit. So now we've got our simple little default dashboard set up to give us the market tied. But I wanna have a flow feed dashboard as well. So let's go ahead and click on dashboard two and start building out our flow feed. Now to add flow feeds and flow alerts to your super flow, there's one extra step. So here we'll come over and add flow table. It's going to ask you to add a URL. What you'll do here is you'll navigate to the actual flow feed. Now here I already have a list of pre-built filters. Now to add it to your super flow, you'll take the URL of your current filter and copy it over into your new window here. Now I'm gonna name this one 10K plus put rights because the filter that I just carried over is my filter for written puts. So now here back on our super flow page, we just add that window and now we have our flow feed here. But I want my other filters here too. So we're gonna add another flow window. Let's say I wanna have my filter for synthetic spreads, like synthetic longs and risk reversals. Here is my synthetics filter. I'm gonna copy this over to the URL for the dashboard, and then I'm gonna title this one synthetics. And now I've got both of them in here. You can have numerous windows. So we can add another flow alerts table here as well. So we'll go over to my flow alerts page. I only have one filter set here, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this bad boy over as well. Now I have my flow alerts window added as well. And this is about as simple as it gets. Right now we have our market tide dashboard set up and we have our filters dash set up. There's not a whole lot more to it. And for good measure, let's say we wanna keep our eye on the flow, but we also want to keep an eye on spy price action. We can go ahead and add the spy stock chart to our dashboard. Auto arrange here and it's gonna put SPY up in the right hand corner a little cleaner to look at. But I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. This is all you need to know to set up your dashboards. 
If you want to know more about setting up filters, I've linked the how to build a flow filter video in the description. And you can also find all of our educational videos in the playlist here on screen, the education playlist. And that's about all there is to it, folks. I hope this helped you understand the super flow and how to build it out. And you can tab between your dashboards all you need to or want to to keep an eye on all of your flow and all of your tides across multiple filters, across multiple alert styles, all in one place.